What's poppin', y'all? Today we got Tyran the Honey Badger Matthew. All right, this man had four interceptions for the season, 12 PBUs, 75 tackles, three TFLs, two sacks. This man does it all. You can put him in a deep third, middle third, around the line of scrimmage, manned up on the best receiver, manned up on the tight end. He going to get it done. All right, he's very instinctual. This man knows where to be and does what he needs to do. All right, just because you tell him, hey, you got a blitz, don't mean necessarily he's going to do so. But best believe he's going to make the best play possible. This man made first team all pro at defensive back, second team all pro at safety. This man is extremely versatile, extremely good, and a fantastic player altogether. Now let's get to it. All right, with this man being who he is, we all know that he likes to play around the line of scrimmage, all right? And he is extremely tenacious is really why the reason he got the name Honey Badger. All right, here he's lined up on the line of scrimmage, and he gets right in the backfield, all right? Left tackle here should have, you know, communicated with the guard and kicked out a little more, but he doesn't. Tyron Matthew plays around with the running back, jumps, runs, sprints, and eventually gets the quarterback down. This man is a fantastic player. All right, here, I'm pretty sure he was manned up on this running back, all right? He kind of makes the running back hesitate for a second, and then he jumps up, gets in the pass lane of Lamar Jackson, and gets his ball batted down. If he'd have got two hands up, possibly could have been an interception, all right? Stands there and lets him know, hey, I'm here. All right, we're going to look again from the tight view. Running back comes over. Boom. He acts like he's going to go towards him. Takes one little jab, step out, cuts in, gets right there in the passing lane. All right, here versus the Detroit Lions. Boom, coming off the edge again. All right, he gets up on the quarterback so quick, the quarterback can't even throw the ball away. All right, like I, like I said, he's not the biggest player. All right, he's not like he's towering over anybody. He's not like a Cam Chancellor or even really like an Earl Th Earl Thomas is a big dude. All right. Tyron Matthews is smaller in stature and he's not exactly fast, but he's very instinctual. You're going to see here, he's just creeping right along the line of scrimmage. Boom, gets right. I don't know why the tackle doesn't block him. He decides to crash down and hey, he's in the backfield. Here, he knew the play before it happened. That's why he's tapping his helmet. Boom, they run a little Little motion, try to get everybody moving one way, toss it to the other side, and Tyron Matthew, boom, right there. All right. He really just beats the out, gets to the outside shorter, sets the edge outside in. All right. Boom, they run a little motion this way, and he comes flying in, cuts the legs out. Easy play for him. All right. Not everybody can do it, but he makes it look easy. This man is dangerous around the line of scrimmage. All right, now here versus the Kansas City. Well, not versus the Kansas City Streets. Versus the Patriots. He manned up Julian Edelman as he was all game. They run a little quick screen to him, which we know, man. The little quick screens with New England can be dangerous. You never know. He throws it to him, and he going to throw it to somebody else. But Tyron Matthew is right there, all right? Gets in the backfield, lets him know, hey, man, I watch film too. I know what y'all trying to do, all right? Now, a lot of what Tyron Matthew does, because his stats weren't ridiculously crazy, it's just playing good coverage. All right, here he's on a deep left side of your screen. And he's just, they try to run a little out and up, and he's right there. All right, he's covering it all, he's covering it all, and then the quarterback eventually has to dump it off, okay? When you're playing safety, it's actually better that your name isn't always getting mentioned because that means people are continuing to throw the ball in your area, especially if you're playing free safety. Here, once again, he's manned up on the slot. They try to run a little out and up. He covers it up. They got to dump it off. Easy tackle. All right, here, try to run a little curl right here at the sticks. And he's a little man, all right? Smaller in stature. I ain't going to say little. I don't like the way. He's just a, a smaller man. But he comes up, lays the thumper on this big tight end, holds him down for a fourth down. They come back to this same play, which I don't know why they keep playing with this man, all right? Because eventually, it had he not dropped two picks in this game, it, it that one would have been six if he caught that. I mean, Lamar is fast. But with that quick change of direction, it's kind of hard to, you know, accelerate when someone's already in full sprint the other way. All right. He's going to look at Lamar's eyes. He really doesn't peel his eyes off at all. Boom. Breaks on this ball. Makes a play. And once again, hey, if you don't, if you keep testing somebody, he will come down with the ball. He has extremely good hands and he's, he's fluid and he has soft hands. All right. When he catches the ball, he's already ready to make a play, which is why he drops of them sometimes. But look at this. One, two. Three, 
I mean, he's he, he's getting off the gym, all right? Once again, you're going to see here Jacoby Brissett. I don't know what, who he was throwing to, but he was playing cover two. He gets back there, reads his eyes, thank you, I'll take this. And then he turns into a, a running back after he gets his ball. Like, he's he's looking to score. He ain't looking to just take a knee. None of that. He's trying to score. Now, here versus the Raiders are going to run a little flood concept. This this is this is clinic tape, okay? I just want to watch out and see how he does this. He's looking at the number three receiver, which is the tight end or the, the closest man to the tackle, all right? Once he see he goes, he flips out, he flips his hips. Gets right in the passing lane into easy interception. I'm telling you, this is clinic tape. He does this ex perfect, perfect, perfect technique. The quarterback just didn't know what was going on in that situation. That's perfect technique. I cannot explain that enough. Here versus Uncle Phil. All right, remember earlier versus the Baltimore Ravens? Yeah, kept throwing that across the middle. Uncle Phil made sure he got him one of them picks. Because right here, I don't know why he does it. He throws it late. Tyron Matthew is all over it. Catches it fluidly, soft hands, gets the run in, is ready to return it. All right? Cuts back, does what he has to do, and nearly scores. And I know it hurt him that he didn't get in, but hey, it is what it is. We're going to check here from the tight view. We're going to see what Uncle Phil sees. All right? Drops back, stared down his receiver, a little sidearm throw. Thank you. I'll take that. Let me go ahead and run it back to the crib a little bit, try to get a little... You know what I'm saying? Defensive touchdown. He wasn't able to get it. But extremely versatile. Gives easy field position for his offense, who is already explosive, and does what he has to do. Here, once again, versus Uncle Phil. All right, this actually was a home game. Manned up on a receiver who is way bigger than him. All right? Everybody knows Williams is they, you know one of their best receivers. He Look at how he high points his ball. You would have thought that he was the receiver and Williams was the DB. All right, right here versus D. Who else? New Hopkins. Great hands, no serve. Get up out of here. All right, former teammates. Tyron Matthew right over the middle. Comes back and breaks it off. This man is fantastic, man. I'm <laughs> he, he's going to get the ball out, man. All right, he's not the biggest dude, but he will line up on your number one receiver. Right here, he is lined up on Cortland Sunday. This is Denver's number one receiver now, all right? This is who they going to. This is who they want to pass the ball to. You're going to see here, he's manned up on him. Corlin Sutton thinks he gets the ball. He snatches that thing out of here and says, no, sir, Reed, I'm a playmaker. I'm a dog. I'm smart. I know that you're taller than me, and you're going to meet the ball up high. So I have to get in between your hands and separate them to make sure you can't come down with this ball. All right, once again, this is versus Baltimore. This is one of the other picks he should have had. Plays it off so smooth. All right, he, he puts hands on the, on the first receiver coming across his face, and then he sinks back. He, doesn't under, he understands that the first thing you see is not usually where it's going. He pushes that off, comes back. This should have been an interception, but it wasn't. All right, this is one thing I think the young man should work on. And not young man. He's a veteran in the league. He's been in here for about six years on his way to a Super Bowl. But he got to stop dropping these interceptions, all right? He's a fantastic playmaker, and that's the only thing I want to see more of him. You know what I'm saying? I want him to see him catch more interceptions. If just out of, you know, just I, I wish I would. I just love to see it. Because stuff like this right here, that should be another interception. Now, after looking at the tape, this man is really the reason the Kansas City defense has improved over the latest stages of the season. And why they're in the Super Bowl right now, all right? I wouldn't say it's just him. But with playing safety, you're not going to make all the splash plays as in sacks or, you know, just a lot of plays. But you'll make nice sound tackles. You're a safety. You make sure nothing gets deep. Now he is given the privilege to play around the line of scrimmage and gets a lot of freedom. And they ask him to do a lot. But because he's one of the only pieces on that team, he's not going to get all the splash plays because he has to do just about everything. You put him on more elite defense, I guarantee you see him make more plays, but he's too busy in his role making sure not everyone's messing up because he's on a relatively young defense, a relatively inexperienced defense other than, you know, the D-line. They have a couple players with um, Chris Jones and uh, Frank Clark. But with all that being said, this man has turned his career around. We know he had two devastating injuries. He came out as LSU, where some people thought he was just hype. But Patty, Patty P, one of my favorite DBs, made sure, hey, he vouched for him. He played in um, 
Arizona for his first, I think, four years, went to the Houston Texans, and now is with the Chiefs. His his career has really gone in the uptick. All right, don't don't let it fool you. Just because he ain't having the pick sixes and stripping the ball and running around doing all that, he's doing what he's supposed to do. All right, because with all that, best believe there were plays that he missed because he was young. He was just balling. Now he's thinking and balling, and that's what you love to see. You love to see the evolution of a player, especially when he's fantastic like that. But that's all I got for y'all now, man. Um, you know. I ain't put out a few videos in a minute, but, you know, hey, life happens. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and rest in peace to the Black Mamba. I wasn't even a fan of Kobe, but you got to respect the hustle, and it's sad to see, man. Mamba mentality, we out.